really busy, but um, I thought I would show a little something if you're wondering why I'm so glam today. Um, I'm going actually to the San Antonio Opera with my sister and mom, uh, my two friends, and uh, their stepmom and my mom, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, oh yeah, I wanted something really glam, and uh, there's a glitter cut crease. Oh, I love it. Um, because uh, I'm getting a surgery tomorrow, I'm getting a septoplasty and a turbinate reductor. Um, so I thought I would, I want to, um, show as much of that as I can, because, you know, like, us nursing students, especially since I went through pharmacology, I'm really curious about, like, what kind of drugs, anesthetics, what they use, and everything, so, um, yeah, and I want to record, like, a nursing student going through surgery to kind of see, like, you know, um, you know, my take on it, uh, being a nursing student and having the knowledge of, like, pharmacology and stuff, um, so yeah, I'm excited, um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's on break and loving life with no homework. Hopefully you're not taking any classes right now. Oh, girl, that would be a lot. Um, okay, so kind of like a continu continuum of that. Um, so I um, have been noticing this since June. I've, um, there's been something off because I went like this for a couple times and I realized I wasn't breathing out of my right nostril. So I was like, well, girl, something's wrong. And um, so I went in. I got some nasal steroids and flonase, which I learned about in pharmacology, and it wasn't working for me. Um, so I went back and they recommended surgery, so I decided to do that now during winter break because now I can have, you know, time to recover without having schoolwork or anything um, in the way, so that's why I'm doing it now. I'm kind of excited to see, like, the, you know, the drug aspect and the pharmacology aspect and also the surgery aspect. Um, I haven't been in OR yet for clinical, so I'm kind of excited to be on the patient side of that. And um, what kind of drugs they use and what order, you know, like my midazolam or like that and other stuff that I've kind of learned this semester. So I'm kind of excited, like, to get, you know, a, the a surgery perspective from a, a patient per, you know, patient point of view. So maybe some people aren't, but I mean, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to document this to see. Um, you know, if you, like, want to get a nursing student's perspective, um, from a surgery, so, like, being in a patient, so, yeah, I'll keep you, it's updated, here's my nose, now, I don't think the, the, sh the shape is going to change, I wish, um, but, yeah, it should be good, alright, bye. So she just worked on my IV, I'm in my hospital bed, there's my mom, and, yeah, it was cool to watch, very cool. Here's my room in the hospital bed. I'm ready to go. Looking glam. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, it was super cool to see her do that. Yeah, it was super cool to watch her do the IV. Like the angle and everything. Yeah. And I can't wait to learn to do that. So yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting for anesthesiologist to come in. And... Yeah, I'm excited. All my things are hooked up. I have my bracelet. We're all ready to go. So I'm just relaxing right now. Got my IV. Um, because uh, it ran a little late. But, um, but the nurses here have been super nice. So, yeah. It's been cool. So while I'm waiting, I checked my grades and I got a 3.7. Woo -hoo -hoo. Um, so that's pretty good. I didn't think I would get that because um, I had like him Gerald, but I ended up with an AB. Um, which is 92%, so that's pretty cool. So I was excited about that, so on to next semester. So I just talked to the anesthesiologist, and he told me all about, um, kind of the drugs. That was cool, because, um, I told him I was in nursing school, and so I, like, he told me he was in propofol, and I know that drug, because I was in pharmacology, and I about general anesthetic, anesthetics, and I assume they're going to put some benzodiazepines in there, um, yeah, so it's cool to kind of like, oh, I know about that stuff, so, yeah, that's kind of cool. Hey everyone, um, I'm home right now, um, I ended up having a surgery at 11.15, so it was pushed back an hour, and the surgery took about an hour, and then it took me about an hour um, to wake up afterwards in the recovery room, so I left around 2, I got ready and everything, but I didn't feel super loopy when I woke up. Um, not like I, when I had my um, oral surgery to remove my wisdom teeth, so I felt pretty good after just a little groggy. 
Um, and then um, I took a hydrocodone before I left. Um, and it was kind of cool to talk uh, to the anesthesiologist about all the drugs and everything. Um, so that was cool because I asked about um, if they'd be giving my dad's lamp and they said yeah. So I felt because I talked to the nurse anesthetist and so that was pretty cool. Um, so I'm just home right now resting. I took about an hour nap and so I've just been, I'm just going to rest some more. Um, I have my cute little Vera Bradley blanket that my godmother gave me. Um, so yeah, I've just been resting. My surgeon seemed really cool. Um, and my mom was there uh, with me. She hung out the whole time. So she just got something to eat. And then I got um, I got a smoothie because my throat was feeling a little sore from being intubated. But I don't remember anything about going into the OR, which I'm kind of disappointed about because I was kind of hoping, because I thought it would be kind of cool to remember that. But I only remember her giving me benzodiazepine and my dad's lamb to kind of help um, relax me. I knew that from current pharmacology, which was pretty cool, and, and she thought that was cool. Um, yeah, so I don't remember anything about being in the OR or the recovery room. I just remember waking up where um, I was before, um, and then getting dressed and going home. So I've just been resting. Um, I'm not in any pain right now. Um, my nose feels okay, just my my throat feels a little sore from being intubated. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated periodically. Um, I've been bleeding a little bit, especially when I've been getting up and going to the bathroom and stuff, or when I got up and left the um, surgery building. So um, yeah, but it's nothing too bad. I don't know if it looks swollen. I don't think so if it, I don't think it looks too swollen. Um, but yeah. I've, I've definitely had a reaction to the tape they used on me under my eyes. I don't know if you can see that I have, and then on my chin as well, where they had the intubation. Um, so yeah, I just wish I remembered the OR, like be like um, going in there because that would have been cool. But you know, it's it's fine. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated later. I'm gonna go take a nap. Bye. Hey everyone. So it is the day after my surgery. So day two. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I woke up around oh, five o'clock in um, a lot of pain, so I took um, uh, some more hydrocodone, uh, all that pharmacology stuff. Um, I made sure to take it with some yogurt and something in my stomach. Um, but I do notice today on the second day how much more swollen my nose is. I don't know if you can see it. Um, well, my girl, my nose was not that wide before um, surgery, so I don't want to touch it too much, but it's definitely wider, especially on the bottom part, but I don't have, a, like, a lot of bruising, which is good, um, but I've just been kind of chilling. I have noticed that every time I um, get up or, like, tilt my head forward that I will start bleeding. Um, my dad had this surgery last year, though, and he said that happened to him, too, so I'm just assuming it's just the movement that's causing me um, to move it's for me to bleed um my throat feels a lot better than yesterday i felt really uh scratchy yesterday because of being intubated um but it feels fine so far but i still have the dang tape irritation from surgery and i was like uh looks like i've had a little spots right there but yeah i've just been relaxing and chilling in my cute little fear bradley blanket and um yeah i've been watching some uh Netflix Christmas, cheesy Christmas movies, because I love watching those, and I'm just kind of relaxing today, um, yeah, I, I slept pretty well, I mean, my neck was a little uncomfortable, because I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm laying in, like, a lazy boy, um, because it feels better than laying flat, um, uh, for me, so, yeah, I've been doing that, uh, so, um, feeling pretty good right now, I'm keeping ahead of the pain, um, which is really good, uh, uh, so, yeah, I think that's really been helping, otherwise I'd be feeling a lot more crappy, so, um, another thing, turn two thing you learn in pharmacology is, um, make sure to keep the head of the pain, um, so yeah, um, so I took a look, and I took my antibiotic this morning, I think it was like cephalolexin, cephalolexin, I, I have to look at it again, um, 
but also an important member from nursing school if you're taking antibiotics to try to take a probiotic as well. So I do know that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, it's about 10.30. Um, I slept for about two hours. If I took the hydrocodone on this morning at 6, so I slept a lot better, which is good. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated, so bye. Hey guys, I didn't get to um, film yesterday because I was just having a bad day. Um, wasn't feeling well. Um, today uh, has been okay. I've been um, noticing um, more pain, especially in my teeth, um, which is kind of new. And then um, I showered today, and I, my mom helped me like wash my nose because there's like blood clots stuck in there. It's pretty nasty, but you know what all nursing students do um, but she like pluck those out. And I was quite a pain in my nails, um, which is nice. And um, I've just been reading actually for fun, which is actually pretty cool because I did, I love reading for fun. And so I've got to that. Um, yeah, so um, my friends sent me flowers today. They're beautiful, so that was really fun to see. Um, otherwise, yeah, and oh, but they had a tape. It's like all scaly with my eye here and I'm like Ugh. I'm hoping um to put on makeup tomorrow um because it's Christmas Eve tomorrow um for my family's coming over but we'll see how I'm feeling I'm just nervous around my nose cause like it's still really tender um but we'll see um yeah Bye. hey everyone um so it is currently Christmas Eve right now don't mind looking ridiculous I'm trying to look presentable um my family's coming over later today um so I put these in so I could I try to do my makeup um I love makeup so much so it's really hard for me not to like go all out um so I just did like a light tinted moisturizer with my beauty blender and I barely tapped over my nose and I tapped some powder on um so it's not gonna be a full glam Christmas look um which I'm Oh, kind of bummed about, uh, but, you know, it'll be okay. I'm going for, like, a cozy look anyway with this, um, little jacket. So, um, that's how it's going so far. Um, it's currently Christmas Eve, so it's been four days since my surgery. Um, the pain's not too bad. Um, I helped my mom make some food for tonight. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I just noticed when I, like, do a lot of stuff and stand up for a long time that it kind of bothers me. Um, so I'm trying to go quick right now. Um. But, um, because the tape was so irritating my skin, I have, like, I'm peeling skin, like, right there and right there. Um, I feel like, an, like a snake, like I'm trying skin. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just trying to look presentable for tonight. Um, it's still okay right now. Um, it's definitely, you know, still swollen. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be good to see my family again, um, even if I am looking kind of ratchet. Okay. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Hey everyone. Um. So I'm back. So I'm sorry I haven't filmed in a couple of days. It's been kind of crazy. Um. But today is the 28th. Um. And I just got my splints taken out today. Um. So yeah, I thought I would show them to you. So these are my splints. I'm sorry they look so gross, but you're all nursing students, so it's okay. But look how big they are. Okay, so I don't know if you can, yeah, so you can see that one at the bottom especially. So they're, like, the size of my index finger, like, the, um, the length, I'm sorry, and the width is, like, my, uh, thumb, like, knuckle to my tip of my finger, so it's, like, God, it, it's, like, it has to be, is that an inch? Maybe less than an inch, but really wide, so it's a lot bigger than I expected, and they're huge, look at that. I didn't think it'd be that big, but I thought I would show you because I was I was curious, so I wanted to s tell you. And so those he took those out today, um, so those were sutured in my nose, and so he just clipped the sutures and then just whoo, and went tell me like when he was pulling them out, I was like, you know, like I could feel like I didn't think it was that big, so I was like, whoa, and it just whoosh, came out. That's pretty pretty weird, but. Yeah, but I can finally breathe through my nose now because when before when I had these in and stuff, like I could I could only breathe through my mouth. So I was like, you know, mouth breathing all the time, like eating stuff like 
<laughs> like, it was just exhausting. So it's nice to be able to like breathe out of my nose. Like, oh my goodness. Um, he said there's still swelling in there, so it's not. I'm not totally healed. I'm only a week out um, from surgery. Um, so I still have some time to go. But yeah, I can breathe through my nose. That's really good. And he said it looks really good in there. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty happy. It's nice to be able to breathe through my nose again. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was so crazy how big they were. Like, and they're like a 